In this Manum lesson, we are going to learn how to animate a pie chart just like this. And of course, this will be all done in Python. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import all objects from Manum. I am going to import NumPy, alias it is MP, standard practice using NumPy. I am also going to import the OS object so that I can easily run this. I can easily run this using the os.system command and just essentially pass it a terminal command. I'm going to construct my pie chart scene. It's going to extend to the scene class. Like every scene in Manum, you call the construct function to declare what goes into the scene, including any objects and animations. I'm going to declare the weights of each slice. So what proportion of each pie slice is going to be. Ideally, you want to make this add up to 1.0 just to make it easier to track or make it 100%. And so I'm going to have 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.15, 0 0.10, 0 0.05. The angles are going to take, are going to be built off of those weights and put them on a 360 degree scale. So I'm going to take those weights, multiply them by degrees, multiply them by 360. So just using some NumPy basic arithmetic here to do this conversion, to turn those weights into angles for each slice. The rotate angles are a little tricky. I had to experiment with this a little bit. We are going to take the cumulative sum of 0 0.3, 0 0.15, 0 0.10, 0.05. Those are the weights. Those are the exact same values, but I just replaced the 0.4 with a zero. And, and that zero, is essentially saying I am not rotating the first slice, but I am going to rotate the next slice and the next slice and the next slice and the next slice by so much so that they don't overlap. And we're going to use the cumulative sum so that so that it is going to it's going to have the first angle be zero, the rotate angle. The next angle is going to be 0.3, but then this angle is going to be 0.45. This will be 0 0.55, 0 0.6, and so on. It'll create that cumulative sum so that we can rotate those angles for each of those slices so they don't overlap. The colors are going to be a list of red, yellow, blue, green, orange, purple, all coming from the Manum Utils package. The sectors are going to be the pie slices themselves. So the sector is an extension of, is the extension of the arc, I believe, in Manum and it essentially allows us to create allows us to create a pie slice or a or a arc with some thickness to it we're going to make the outer radius 3 so it'll create a radius of 3 on each pie slice we're going to zip the angles colors rotate angles that we created above and we're going to use a list comprehension to build each sector the color the angles are going to be passed to the sector object the tricky part is going to be rotating each sector, each pie slice, um, using the by taking each of those rotate angles and making them negative. I found this created the, the desired behavior so that the pie slices, the pie slices would rotate so they would no longer be overlapped about the origin. Then we're going to add those sectors. Next, we're going to add the labels. We're going to create a label circle that we never add to the scene, but we're going to use it to uh, for reference. It's going to have a radius of 1.75. I found that this radius was large enough. This this radius was large enough to create effective angles. And the label angles are going to take those rotate angles, and we're going to subtract each of those angles divided by two, so that each of those labels are near the center of each pie slice. So we zip up the weights, the sectors, the label angles. We build each math text object using the with the weight as the text value. It will take that numeric value, turn it into a string. It's going to have a font size of 30, and we're going to move each of those labels to the label circle, and we're going to go to the point at the given angle for each label angle. We'll also make it negative. It seemed everything works as intended going in the negative direction. Uh, when rotating about the circle, and then we add those labels. Finally, we when we run this Python script, it's going to fire up Manim and execute. And here is the result. It will output this image. 
We'll talk about how to animate it next. What if we want to animate this though? So you have that nice effect of the pie slices all flying around the origin until they fill up the entire space. There's a couple of modifications we'll do to the code we just walked through. We're going to create this value tracker and it's going to start at 0 0.01. We're going to increment this up to 360 degrees later. And uh, the idea is that we will animate the slices so that they only have, they have less than 360 degrees to work with, but we will increase that value all the way up to 360 and those pie slices will update accordingly. And when we call, when we build the sectors, we're going to put them in an always redraw instead. Uh, so I have to use these Lambda references right here so that, um, so that it doesn't hold on to the last values in this for loop down here. And each and those and each weight, color, and rotate angle is passed respectively uh, to each individual sector. And so as this as this pi value tracker gets incremented all the way up to 360, it will it will keep redrawing these slices so that they increasingly start to fill up the whole 360 degrees they have available to them, but not all at once. And that's exactly what this logic is doing here. I take each of those pie trackers values, multiply them by degrees, multiply them by the weight. And I also do the same thing with the rotation. I multiply it by the negative of the rotate angle, multiply by the pie tracker get value. And it's because again, notice that we're not putting 360 here this time. We're actually going to start this at 0 0.01 and increment it up to 360. Multiply that by, by degrees. And and the labels will just come in later after it's been finished filling out. Uh, we will just write each of those labels with a lag ratio of 0.6. Uh, so that's just going to cause that lag ratio will cause them to stagger in rather than come in all at once. Um, and we will only do this step after we finish after we finish um, incrementing incrementing the value tracker up here up to 360. Which, by the way, that happens right here. We add those sectors. I'm going to wait a second then I'm going to animate and set that value to 360. And, and there, this is going to happen over three seconds. So it's going to interpolate for every single frame in those three seconds, all the way up to 360. But it's not, it'll take three seconds for this value tracker to increment all the way up to 360. And that will cause everything here to rebuild on every frame and create that nice little swoosh effect of those pie slices uh, filling that entire circle. And then finally, um, after we build the labels, we will run we will run the pie chart animated class and execute the video execute and play the video file. A quick thanks to JetBrains for providing a license for tools used in this video. I particularly used PyCharm to make this video walking through the Python code. If you use the three month code three min underscore data science, you will get three free months of access to JetBrains extensive tool library. Like I said, PyCharm is one of my favorite tools. It also has some great Jupyter notebook support. So check it out, link is in the description, and you will get access to the world-class developer tools that JetBrains provides. You can also support this channel by buying my books or accessing them on the O'Reilly platform. You can actually get 10 days free on the O'Reilly platform, get access to my books, online trainings, and thousands of other published resources using the link in the description. I will see you next time.